hello everyone if you are a pharmacovigilance professional or a student who wants to do your career in pharmacovigilance you might have definitely heard the word medra medra is medical dictionary for regulatory activities and it is one of the key concepts to understand if you want to make and build your career in pharmacovigilance in this video we will understand what exactly medra is and how it is used in pharmacovigilance and related activities before we move to that make sure you like share and subscribe to this channel so that it brings you quality content moving forward in your career without further ado let's start so in this particular session we are going to learn what exactly is medra what is the structure of medra along with how medra is used the examples of it as well as how coding is done using medra also we would understand what are the applications of medra in terms of pharmacovigilance let's start so first and foremost let us understand what exactly is medra so medra is nothing but a clinically validated international medical terminology used by the regulatory authority and regulated by pharmaceutical industry so whenever you have to refer to a adverse event or any medical condition there needs to be a terminology which is constant throughout okay it needs to be constant through the regulatory authorities as well as the industry also so medra is that clinically validated medical terminology and it is a dictionary or a database of that terminology so this particular terminology is used throughout the entire regulatory process it is also used in the pre and post marketing phase and the medra dictionary is also used for data entry retrieval evaluation and presentation in terms of regulatory activities and this particular dictionary has terminology which is used in adverse event classification using this particular dictionary so if you are someone who is looking to understand case reporting in pharmacovigilance or looking for that particular job then there are a lot of adverse event which require coding and that coding has to be in compliance with medra that is where this dictionary is used again medra has a hierarchical multi axial multilingual and regulatory updated dictionary it is strictly maintained by an organization called as maintenance and support services organization this particular organization is owned by ich okay and ich holds the intellectual property the ownership of the medra okay so that is regarding medra now let us understand the structure of medra so first and foremost the current version of medra is version 26.0 now medra is divided into various classification the first of which or the biggest of which is the system organ class in this system organ class there are 27 aspects there are 27 system organ classes after that comes high level group terms okay so there are 337 high level group terms after that below high level group terms there is high level term so there are 1727 high level terminology in that dictionary below high level term there are preferred terms preferred terms are 25916 followed by the lowest level term which are more than 86000 okay so whenever you have to refer a particular case or a particular adverse event you would code them in a system organ class high level group term high level term preferred term or the lowest level term but how exactly it is done let us understand that through an example so if you see that there is a cardiac disorder okay so cardiac disorder uh, disorder related to the heart is a system organ class okay so if you remember there are 27 system organ class so cardiac disorder is among them in cardiac disorder there is high level group term so cardiac arrhythmia that arrhythmias are high level group terms inside that arrhythmia there is rate and rhythm disorder and this is part of the high level terms and just arrhythmia is a preferred term okay again for uh, below the preferred term comes low level term so low level terms can be multiple so it can be arrhythmia dysarrhythmia arrhythmia existential uh, proarrhythmia okay 
so there are multiple alleles so you need to understand that cardiac disorder is a system organ class then in the descending order there are high level group terms high level terms preferred terms and low level terms this is how the structure of medra is from soc to llt next thing is coding okay now how coding is done using medra so let us understand through an example so if someone reports a headache okay now there are certain words or certain terminology that can give you headache or certain responses which indicates headache so some people can say that they have throbbing over the temple some can say they have aching over the head some can say they have pulsating pain in the head and that is mentioned in the reports some can say the headache is uh, really bad or they only have an headache okay so you need to understand that what particular term is and you can term according to it so all this description is under one single criteria that is headache okay you would code all this reported adverse event as headache again similarly if someone says there is infection in the lung so obviously there is a terminology in medra that it is a lung infection okay so not every time the description is complex sometime it is easy to code now for example if a patient said that he took a drug a instead of b and he experienced any hypertension so there is a certain term that is wrong drug administered hypertension okay so that is how you code okay you need a specific terminology which you can code into the medra and that is understand by the industry as well as the regulatory authority so that is how coding is done through medra now let us understand how adverse event coding is done in metra okay so just take an example that a patient reports a severe eye irritation after using eye drops that had cloudy appearance now an investigation by the manufacturer revealed that the batch of eye drug contain a foreign material which led to eye irritation now how do you code in metra first you would understand what are the low level terms eye irritation product appearance cloudy product contamination foreign design okay none of them are clear eye irritation is just a general description so that is that becomes a low level term then what is preferred term okay liquid product physical issue product contamination by physical matters okay that is a preferred term then under which system organ class does it come so it will come under eye disorder the cloudy product appearance will come under product issues and again foreign material in the i drop will also come under the product issue so whenever you are a signal processor or whenever you are a case report processing associate in pharmacovigilance you need to refer to low level terms understand them then code it according to preferred term high level group terms and under system organ class so that you mentor all the hierarchy okay so that is how coding is done for metra for all the reported adverse events now let us understand that what are the applications of metra in terms of pharmacovigilance and how is this particular dictionary helpful for us so by using metra you use standardized uh, reporting format for all the queries and pharmacovigilance reporting next application would be that it is easier to retrieve the cases of suspected or known safety issues because you detect all the signal and code it accordingly next thing is that you maintain accountability for each and every single case and alerts and enter that into the system through coding okay that particular code creates a database and it will clearly give you that which particular case or which particular incidents was reported and what is the accountability for it then whenever you are preparing periodic reports of all the events then these signals can be accumulated and collated also this particular method of coding using medra would be very helpful in registration documentation and safety monitoring of a particular drug and finally whenever you have to share this information to uh, the regulatory on therapeutic application or any adverse event reporting to the medication then using medra gives them clear understanding and there is no nuances or any lack of understanding everyone is on the same page using same dictionary so it gives you clarity to understand whether this drug have adverse event what they are saying were reported and whether the regulatory therapeutic application is correctly been documented 
so that is where the medra makes a significant move and it is very helpful when it comes to pharmacovigilance so thank you for watching this video so if you are a student of pharmacovigilance professional who was helped through this video so please make sure that you give us a subscribe and share it with your all your friends who can benefit from it and thank you for watching this video